Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So today what I'm going to do, I will show you how to add uh, a field uh, to the code line editor. Um, and yeah, so so let me let me start with the requirement, right? So let's say I have a code, right? So this is a code. So, um, so I go to my code. Now... And I, I'm, I'm as a customer, right? I'm just telling as a customer, I'm just, I'm going to my code and I'm just saying, okay, I'm going to the code line editor. Oh, sorry, not the code line editor. Let's say I'm going to do edit lines, okay? And so, and I want to add a product. So I will add any product, right? It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to add this product. Um, okay, so I will just say save. Okay, now the requirement is, right, um, I wanted to see a list price here, right? I can see the start date, end date, subscription term, addition, discount, that's great. But I would love to see the list price here. And also, I would like to see more uh, fields in the product uh, in this uh, code line, right? Right now, I see the, the product code, uh, product name, and quantity. That's fine. So I would like to see more. Right, so let's see if we can do that. Okay, the first thing first, right? So let's sort out this problem, uh, the code information, right? So I wanted to add a list price here so that the user can see the list price information here. Now, how to do that is pretty simple. So you go to the, uh, the Scarecrow icon um, and so go to setup. And what we do, we will go to Um, object manager, and I'll go to the code, right? And under code, I will go here. And what I'll do, I'll go to the the field set, right? And there's something called line editor. I'll go here, and I'll go edit. And so we got only four here, so. Uh, something about the list price they want, right? Something to do with the list. I don't know if I can see something about the list. Um, or the amount. I'm not sure. Oh, the, the list amount, right? So I'll just copy that here. And then I will save it. Okay? So that's saved. And let's go back to the... I refresh this. And let's go back to the code. And let's add... So, I mean, you might find that this is pretty basic, but, you know, sometimes um, clients might ask you, you know, to change this. And if you say, hey, look, I have no clue that that that's not really a good look, right? So it's good to know these kind of things. It's, it looks simple, but, right, it's yet very powerful feature. Okay, so go to the edit lines, right? Now, you see, we got a list amount here, right? So let me add the product here. And I'll choose, you know, whatever, right? It doesn't matter. Okay, so you can see the list, list amount here, right? Which is fantastic. So I'm going to add another product here. So I'll just add whatever, right? Select. Okay, so you can see the list price getting updated here, which is fantastic. So... All right, so now let's see if I can add more, uh, you know, the columns to it. Let's see how to do that. Um, we have, okay, don't worry about it. So you can also do this. I'm not sure if you've seen this one. Uh, this is a different, you know, look and feel. So if you click on this forward arrow, so we'll do something like this, right? So. All right. Okay, so let's go back to the setup. And let's go back to the object manager. And let's go to the code. Let's see what we have in the code line, right? So you're just talking about the code line. Just go to field set. Line editor. Um, 
editor edit so we got only three right so let's say we put uh, what do you want description um, let's say uh, package total I uh, know nah, that doesn't look like a good gross profit um, okay I'll do this right, this will do for now gonna save uh, let me refresh my page go back to the code and uh, let's go back to this code again and edit line All right All right, let me add a product. Uh, it doesn't matter, any product you want to add. There you go, you see, I've added, you know, uh, two more fields here. So that's how you add fields to the code line editor or to this space, right? So you just have to go to the field set and it will do the job, right? So this information is useful, right? Not just from a exam point of view, right, but just from a CPQ implementation consultant point of view, right? So the one thing I always tell to the students, right? Do not take, uh, you know, please do not approach any course just for the sake of taking it, right? I do understand that Salesforce space is driven by certification, but what's the point of certification? If you, if you don't want it to, you know, if you can't relate those things to the real life scenario, right? So the certifications are great. I love certifications, right? That's the best way you can learn, uh, you know, different things about Salesforce. But at the same time, you do have to understand, you have to relate this from a business context. or Otherwise, it's pointless, right? You can learn different technology, but if you're not going to use it, right, it just, you know, you'll forget about it, right? That's how the human brain works. So, you know, I would highly encourage you to, you know, if you don't, if you don't believe me, I would highly encourage you to read about uh, human, you know, uh, human psychology and the way the brain works. So you will not retain um, you know, information for a longer period of time if you don't use it. So, so yeah, I mean, so try to relate uh, from a business point of view. And like I always say, uh, you know, find a study group, right? Find a, a study partner, you know, work on a business scenario and try to implement the product, right? Like I gave you a scenario, right? You wanted to do this code and your customer says, I wanted to see the list amount, how to do that, right? And also I wanted to see more options here in the edit line. So what's the best way to, to go about doing that? So that's exactly what I demonstrated. So yeah, and from a business sense and business context, it makes sense, right? So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in today's episode. I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday. Adios.